Chancellor Steinberg, Principal Forche, Mr. Pound, Mr. Richard, honored guests, distinguished faculty members, graduates, moms and dads, families, and my McGill brothers. You have no idea how thrilled I am to be here today. As an education student at McGill, I learned early, you stand up to be seen, you speak out to be heard, and you keep it short to be appreciated so you can all relax. <laughs> I received a call from past principal Heather Monroe Bloom about the honorary degree and the opportunity to talk to you here today. And I have to tell you, I was very humbled. I was very moved. Making the call to my wife, to my kids, to my dad, was beyond special. I was very proud. In the next couple minutes, and it'll just be a couple minutes, I'd like to talk to you about three subjects. Number one, the foundation that McGill is. Number two, maximizing your potential. Number three, choosing your attitude. In 1983, I left Saskatchewan. I guess before I go on, how about those green riders yesterday? Whoa. <laughs> In 1983, when I left uh, Saskatoon to attend McGill University, I had no idea how McGill was going to affect the rest of my life. I had no idea how it would affect the rest of my life. The standard of the institution, the commitment to academics, the expectations of the professors and the students around me were way different than the ones I had for myself at that time. They pushed themselves and they pushed one another for excellence. It was real simple for me. I either had to join in or be left behind. The young man who left Saskatoon to come to McGill to play hockey soon found himself a student with high expectations for himself. The foundation that McGill is, the foundation that McGill is helped me to get started. And that's what McGill has done for you. You can do anything you put your mind to. You can do anything you put your mind to. Believe. Believe in yourself. Be strong mentally. Bring it every day. Maximizing potential. I had a professor when I arrived named John Shomay. He had time for me. He cared about me. Over three years, of my undergrad, I'd visit him regularly. He was a great man. In the end, he ended up being my advisor for my student teaching. Called me to his office to give me my final grade. He said to me, Mike, I'm going to give you the highest mark I've ever assigned. That means you have potential, but it's only potential. I can hear him till this day in my mind. Mike, Potential is like a dirty word, unless you do something with it. Life to me is about squeezing every ounce out of yourself, out of your potential. It's a journey. It takes time. But that's where the fun is, maximizing. Your potential is a moving target. When you embrace what McGill's taught us all, when you embrace lifelong learning, there's lots of room for growth. My potential today is much different than the day I graduated in 86. Attitude. I'd like to read you this. It's not mine. It's by Charles Swindle. It was given to me by Scotty Bowman. I have it behind my desk in my office so it reminds me each and every day. The longer I live, the more I realize the impact of attitude on life. Attitude to me is more important than facts. It is more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstance, than failures, than successes, than what other people think, say, or do. It is more important than appearance, giftedness, or skill. It will make or break a company, a church, a home. The remarkable thing is that we have a choice 
every day regarding the attitude we will embrace for that day. I want to say that again. We have a choice every day regarding the attitude we will embrace for that day. We cannot change our past. We cannot change the inevitable. The only thing we can do is play on the one string we have, and that's our attitude. I am convinced that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. Once again, we have the power to choose our own attitude. I spoke to you over the last couple of minutes about the foundation McGill is, about maximizing your potential, about choosing your attitude. Without building a foundation for yourself, you'll never reach your potential. And yet, without potential, and yet, your potential is never determined unless you choose your attitude right each and every day. I'd just like to close with some things I think about regularly. Laugh lots. It's great medicine for the soul. Love, share yourself with others. Live, there's lots out there, grab onto it. Enjoy your family. All the successes you are going to achieve are much better when you have family to share with. Be confident, push through momentary self-doubt. Your dreams wait for you on the other side. Congratulations, graduates.